when her friends see what I'm doing and they're like, oh, wow, what's that? Then she's like, my daddy does this. He draws comics. He draws <laughs> children's books. Proud. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm like, all right, well, that's cool. This is Joseph Coco. I'm at ALAAC in New Orleans, 2018. I'm here on behalf of Becky Hilburn's YouTube channel and Art Process blog. If you could introduce yourself, Vernon. My name is Vernon Smith. Hello. I am a writer and illustrator of children's books and comic books. Fantastic. And you're uh, local to the area, right? Yes. Okay. Do you New live Orleans. in New Orleans or mm -hmm. just in the vicinity? Yeah. Okay. New Orleans. So, um, have you been to an ALA before, or an annual ALA annual conference before? Or this is this your first time? Not. Yes, this is my first time. Okay, um, it's, it's a little overwhelming. Yeah. Even just the exhibition hall, which is probably a small portion of the entire show, is right. still pretty overwhelming. So, can you yeah. give us some of your first impressions? It's the second official day, um, but the first day was pretty abbreviated. It's huge. It's big. There's a yeah. lot. There's more than I thought there would be. Um, I've done a few like library conventions and signings and stuff. Sure. Uh, and those were pretty decent sized. And this is, yeah, really big. I mean, there's tons of authors, publishers, uh, a large comic book section, which I didn't know until like yesterday was yeah. going to be here. Um, so yeah, those uh, it was like I, I was coming in just prepared for like the the children's book side of things, and then when I saw all that, I was like, oh, I've got to get uh, prepared for this stuff too, um, for the comic book side. So, do you feel like um, your work is overshadowed with all this stuff in there, or are still people willing? Are people still willing to talk to you just as an individual creator? Oh yeah, definitely still willing. Um, yeah, just did a signing for the children's book, and Fantastic. It was, yeah. Uh, Good bit of people were there. Um, busy signing, sketching, all that stuff, and people were wanting to know, you know, about the book, about me, stuff like that. Um, other things that I'd done aside from children's books. So, okay, yeah, yeah, I, I heard that went pretty well. Um, how did you uh, get that organized? Did you contact ALA directly about that, or did the um, the publisher the they, they contacted me um, okay. and. They were like, are you willing to do a, are you interested in doing a signing? And I'm like, yeah, always, because I, I love doing signings. It's, it's, yeah, it's a good way know. to meet your real fans. Yeah. You know, somebody yeah. who's coming up to you and saying, hey, can you, yeah. can you sign my book? I love this work. <laughs> is somebody who, I mean, it's just it's it good to meet. It never gets old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, um, you've done signings before. Uh, would you say the uh, signing at this show was different than, than other signings? Um, I mean, the setup was the same, you yeah. know, yeah. Uh, and... Yeah, the amount of people is about the same. I mean, some some are like crazy busy where it's like all the books fly off the shelves, and some are just kind of like just, just just you know tumbleweeds and crickets of, uh, of nothing. And <laughs> um, and this was definitely not the tumbleweeds and crickets. Like there were there were okay. a lot of people, um, so it was really cool. And do you think that's just because of the number of people at? Uh, ALA um, that uh, you were bound to have have fans here, yeah. or was your publisher just really good about promoting it? Um, I'm guessing, or, or were both. you really good at promoting yeah, it? Uh, I guess for that matter, I, too. I'm I'm somewhat good at promotion. I'm, sure. I should be a lot better, uh, but I I at least did uh, make you know. Um, I had like a graphic that I was posting online. Yeah, yeah, the social, social media, media. Yeah, yeah hitting um, those tracks. Yeah, so I, I, I definitely put that out there. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, and yeah, no, I mean they're they're pretty good at promoting stuff too. Okay. Uh, and were most of the people who were coming to get your signings uh, were they local to New Orleans as well, or was people no. from all over? Yeah, people from all over. Um, awesome. So it was really cool. Yeah. Uh, not only just librarians, um, but also other authors so it's like you know and it, one cool thing about this is that's not really seen completely as competition I mean it's like you know I mean everyone wants to be doing work and doing their stuff but yeah with with comic books and also I'm noticing with children's books like people are really cool and and good about uh, like sharing information, like things that they know about mm -hmm. the business, the industry, the work, like all that stuff. Yeah, the insider um, baseball yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so That's it's cool when hear. like other people doing it, 
are interested in your work too instead of just like yeah, yeah cool well here's my book though you know uh, <laughs> so it's nice when those same people are interested in your work too okay well I definitely want to talk to you more about the convention but for now can we talk a little bit about your um, children's book uh, sure. so it's The Littlest Street Car uh, it, it just came out I assume since you um, had a sign about a year or recently oh okay yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what was the inspiration behind the book? I, I know you said you're a relatively recent father, right? Yeah. Um, now she's seven. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Never mind. It's been a little while. I thought I thought you said somewhere recent around in terms four. Of like age. Earth age. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, she's not right. prehistoric. Right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, b- I mean, before this, I'd done like comic books, and the last one was like a more adult horror kind of book and was like oh mm-hmm. I want to do something that my daughter could read and would like to read um, and you know I mean I've been reading her stories for years so okay. like you know you kind of know you kind of pick up on like the writing style of it and the art style of it um, can you flip through some of the pages for us so sure. we can look at the art there's the dedication page and that's her um, thanks. So how yes. does she feel about uh, being being in the book? She likes it, uh, but she's she's kind of grown up yeah. in all of this um, and been going to these things like since she was literally a baby. <laughs> so part of her, you know, because I mean, like I've I've put her in comics. Um, Another friend of mine who does comics like had a, a fan art drawing that she did like published in his book and she's like kind of like oh yeah that's cool um, but I think because she sees me doing it every day that it's not really super exciting for her mm-hmm. until she sees that like when her friends see what I'm doing and they're like oh wow what's that then she's like my daddy does this he draws comics he draws <laughs> children's books proud. yeah and, and I'm like all right well that's cool. Um, Awesome. So what was your experience going uh, with the publisher for this work? Um, I know you, you said you had done something self-published before, right? Yes, and so it's really nice to have somebody else take care of all the day-to-day stuff, uh, mm-hmm. promoting, setting up signing, setting up things like uh, attending conventions. Um, it, it's nice to not have to be on the phone while drawing and being like, hey, here's my book. Um, so it's, yeah, that's that, that's really nice. Uh, and and also you, you get paid up front instead of... Yeah, uh, and there's some validation. Yeah. My book is, you know, right, yeah. published mm-hmm. officially. Um, so uh, in in terms of the the book signing, um, it was it was mostly adults, I assume, or yes. uh, adults with kids. Um, n- I didn't really see a lot of kids here, okay. uh, but yeah. I mean, whenever I do bookstore signings, yes, that's that's a lot of kids. Uh, but yeah, um, the signing today, not so much. Yeah. Mostly right. adults. Uh, so can you tell me a little bit about the uh, comic scene in New Orleans? Um, I know Becca has spoken about it a little bit. Uh, uh, it's it's certainly growing, but it might not be where uh, you can sustain your, or a lot of people can su- sustain themselves uh, doing comics. What's your thoughts on that? Um, you've been doing this for a little while, so yeah. what advice might you have to somebody who's in a um, a small to medium sized city who's trying to uh, get into comics or and children's media as well? Do it. Just keep doing it. Uh, don't stop. Um, get out there if, if there's anything going on in your area mm-hmm. like if it's a signing or a convention go to it talk to people um, a lot yep. of people are really helpful as far as like here's what you should be doing here's what you shouldn't be doing or just here's what I've done here's what you can do um, yeah so you build like a support network basically yeah. and are you doing that mostly through shows um, yes. or are you uh, running to people online and saying hey we should meet up you know on there's there's a good bit online too now uh, I mean mm-hmm. when I started doing this i mean it was like early 2000s so there wouldn't yeah. there wouldn't it wasn't whole, quite as common for yeah. comic artists um, to represent themselves online right like web comics were in their infancy for sure right yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> and for a reason um and uh yeah and i mean this the, the scene here now has definitely grown a lot mm-hmm. since when when i first started you know i mean there was only like a handful of people and now there's like quite a bit like writers, illustrators, combination of both. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, there's, I, I could probably just name ten people off the top of my head, you know. Okay, like so you're starting to think of it like there's actually a comic book industry in New Orleans instead of just, like, a few scrappy people getting by making right. comics? Yeah yeah, 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 definitely. And and it's, like, not only just people putting out their own stuff, but working for, like, larger companies, too. Yeah. So that's that's good, you know. So it's, like, and also... Cool. Put New Orleans on the map. Up. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's, like, people are coming here for conventions, and then they're meeting us, and, you know, and we're going out, we're getting to know people, and then it's, like, then when we go to, like, San Diego or New York for conventions, we're seeing those same people and meeting other people. So it's yeah definitely a good networking, uh, good networking tool, yeah. Um, okay. Um, how often do you reach outside and go to conventions um, in other places? Like you were just saying, San Francisco and whatnot. Um, like what, what is your what is your circuit times look a year. like? Uh, okay. Like well, just, yeah. I mean, you you got a family, times, so it can right. be hard to. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, probably just like a handful of times each year. But uh, okay. And you're going to just the bigger shows? Both. I mean, I've okay. I've done like indie shows up in Columbus. Um, mm-hmm. Bigger is that shows space? like space. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. Uh, you, you know space. Yeah, we've been awesome. Space. Oh, uh, you've been to it. Yeah, we oh, we actually cool. um, uh, interviewed the the creator of space Bob? for on on this Bob very Courtney. YouTube channel. Dude, <laughs> Bob is awesome. He yeah. that is the first convention that I ever exhibited at, and that okay. was like, God, two thousand two. Like the artists are very welcoming there. Bob Corby knows how to how to yeah. pick people who um, want to just promote comics. Yeah. Uh, but I, I do f- feel sometimes that his um, outreach to the public in terms of promoting the event is mm-hmm. a little lacking. But hopefully he's gotten a little better about that in the, yeah. the years. I know and they, I, I want to go venues, back up there so. again because it, it's been it's been a lot of years since I've been up there. Um, mm-hmm. And and he's he's always like, yeah, whenever you want, you're more than welcome. You're like cool. Um, yeah. And yeah, I mean, I was doing a, I did a wizard show in Austin last year, and and the guy that kind of runs the whole artist alley thing, he knows Bob, and I and and I'm there <laughs> meeting um, my buddy Sean, who's like a writer for, he's done like Marvel and DC stuff. He's just got a book that came out through Image, uh, and um, and he was there, so I was like hanging out with him, and he's introducing me to this guy Victor from Wizard, and they. Oh, I knew Sean knew Bob because he'd exhibited at it. That's, I met sure. him yeah, yeah. at Space like years ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, Sean McKeever, by the way, at SeanMcKeever.com. He's a great writer. <laughs> um, but yeah, the guy Victor, like, you know, he's like, oh yeah, I know Bob too. And I was wearing a space shirt. And he's like, oh, let me get a picture of it. You know, I yeah. love that. And so, like, I've, yeah, I've got like space shirts from every time I've been to that show and I wear them. They look all great. The time. I, like, I still I, wear mine regularly. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm probably going to be wearing my gray one from 05 tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Bob space awesome um, yeah and, but yeah uh, you, you try to get a good mix in when you're you're touring around yeah okay. uh, doing New York later on this year um, trying to do the ones that come up here and Some, you're you're tabling there or you're uh, just attending and talking just to attending yeah. And stuff? Yeah, okay. yeah 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 you're uh, tabling at New York is at least 500 so yeah yeah I tabled at San Diego and that was just insane it was really cool but it was insane uh, okay. And that was like 10 I, years I ago. I can't so. imagine you made your money back. So. No, no, no. <laughs> well, the tables were also cheaper It was cheaper an experience, then. though. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, but I, th- I think I might have broken even on the table. Uh, okay. I mean, that's but, a good um, that's a good SECC show. Yeah. I mean, unless a company is, is flying you out there. and then Right. But I had no idea what I was doing. I was just like, mm-hmm. oh, it's San Diego. I'll do great. And, um, yeah. Uh, and, yeah, New York. I'm, I'm going to just check it out like hit up you know like some editors that I've been talking with uh, online like emailing back and forth and just okay. trying to put a face to the name so that they you know let them know I'm not like a lunatic or anything um, and, uh, and, uh, yeah what else Florida Austin um, yeah wherever I can <laughs> okay and what do you uh, where can we find your work online VernonDraws.com. Is it on the back of the book? No, no, that's just the Pelican site. But okay. Yeah, we'll definitely post yeah. it in the okay. information below. Yeah. So VernonDraws.com. Yeah, and Vernon Draws also on any social media, Facebook, All right, and Instagram, what kind of what kind of stuff art. do you have on there? Obviously, your books. Um, um, yeah, the books, comics, prints, uh, samples of just comic book pages. Um, yeah. Like sequential stuff. Uh, Stuff I do for fun, stuff I do to like show editors and publishers to get work to show yeah. them 
I can do this kind of stuff too. Um, okay. And yeah. I assume if somebody's looking to hire you, they can also get get in contact Absolutely. with you there. Also, okay. Vernon draws at Gmail. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Um, and um, if uh, an artist were considering um, tabling or uh, doing a signing here uh, at ALAC for the first time, would you have any advice for them? Do it. Okay. Do it. Seriously. Any any of these that you can do that you can afford to do or can take time off to get to just do it don't let anyone stop you don't don't stop doing this until you're like almost harmless uh, <laughs> it's it's so cool it's hard to get into definitely and hard to kind of sustain but if you can get paid doing what you love to do that is so cool like it's very few people can say that and so yeah. uh, if you can uh, and also surround yourself with understanding people because it is it's a demanding um, it's a demanding job in life so have a have a significant other who understands you um, <laughs> and stuff like that is uh, really helpful um, but yeah. yeah just keep doing it don't let anyone stop you um, and always try and learn and get better because there's always going to be someone better <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, that's great advice, and it's great to see somebody who was tenacious and stuck at it for a long time, and it seems like you've uh, made something of yourself. So yeah. That's fantastic, and uh, I mean, exactly the kind of thing we're looking for here that, you know, if, if you keep trying, you can become a successful comic artist. Yeah, you know? yeah. And I mean, and you'll just, you'll, you'll build things along the way that, you know, you might go and, like, I never thought I would be doing children's books, but yeah. I am, and it's doing well you know still doing comic stuff too and that's cool too like um, like currently actually working on a on two comics and another children's book like at the same time right now um, okay so. and those are going to be coming out this year or next year ba, ba, ba. I'm not sure because they're for other people they're, it's, it's not yeah, any yeah, of my yeah. they have stuff. control so, over, yeah. over um, when the releases are yeah. so yeah they're, well, oh actually and I just did some art for a children's joke book that should be out this year because I finished that about four months ago I think so okay. that should be out later on this year uh, but yeah digitally painting a Mardi Gras Indians book and awesome illustrating a Spanish teaching graphic novel and also okay. working on something with a comics writer but I can't really talk about it right now um, yeah but, that's understandable but it's it's really cool and that's 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 the thing like but you're even with the other stuff right I'm, like, yeah. I'm like oh this is so cool like whenever I, I, it's like I gotta just fit in time to do that and I'm like up at three in the morning like oh this is so cool okay. <laughs> I can't I want to put this out so yeah alright well thank you Vernon I hope you, uh, you are having a good ALAC and I hope I mean uh, you're you're familiar with the city, so usually I encourage people to go out and tr test out New Orleans. But it, I think you pretty well have I've that. I've done that a lot. Have that down. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm retired from that. <laughs> All right. Well, have a good one. You too. Thanks so much. <laughs>